What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the Draft 2 Glory. As you can see, we are almost at 1.1 million coins now. Up in the top left, I sold a whole bunch of consumables over the last hour or so, along with some, just, just loads of stuff. A few players and stuff like that have also gone. As you can see, the values they've gone for here. There's still a whole bunch of stuff in the club, mainly players. Um, still a few consumables on the, uh, on the market as well that will eventually sell, but just not quite yet. And that, as I say, puts us up to 1,094,000 coins. Not too bad. Now, in the last draft, uh, I understand why it had a fair few dislikes, because the draft was terrible. But it wasn't my doing. I hope people understand that. If EA just throw me up horrible choices, I have to pick horrible choices from horrible choices. I can't, you know, I can't fabricate a magic draft, unfortunately. However, today, let's hope for a better draft and some more positive feedback and some positive results. If you guys could drop a thumbs up, let's try and smash 10,000 likes today for today's video. You guys have been going ham on the DTG. Remember, if you do love the draft videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday without fail, the Draft to Glory videos are on my channel. So here we go. I wouldn't mind getting some legends today. Come on, give me a 4 3 2 one. Um Last time we used the 4-4-1-1, we really enjoyed it. So let's take it again. We'll see what we start with. Aubameyang, I, I said give me some legends, and straight away we've got Legend Okocha. We'll take him. Let's see if we can get ourselves as many legends as possible. Come on, give me another legend striker. Hit me with it. Mm, maybe not. Um, I'm going to go Morata, just because I have more opportunities to link him with better players. Messi, Ronaldo, Bale. Oh, 90 Sanchez. Yes, please. I will be playing him at striker, no question about it. Let's get ourselves some BPL players and see if we can get ourselves a very nice team. So we get uh, Rodriguez there. He's not going to get many good links here, but Sanchez is going to need a strong link. So Phil Walker. Ooh, Kante. Hello. Sometimes, man, teams build themselves, you know. I'm saying to you guys, sometimes the sometimes they throw you up horrendous players. Sometimes they throw you up really nice players. And like, like this this is one of those instances where I'm like, what, what really can I do here? There's five leagues that I have nothing from. Spain, France, England, Chile, and Nigeria. There's five nations that I have nothing from. Um, and they're all garbage players in themselves. I mean, some of them are okay, like Anthony Tellez is okay. Boca is okay, and Saldi is okay, but ultimately they're all pretty garb. Um, we've already got Hawk on Sanchez, and that's fine for him. So we'll take a Shadow Chem style. We'll take Schaefer to get us uh, that Shadow Chem style. Vertonghen, Barzagli, Company, Miranda, and Mascherano. And I'm going to take Company, and he's already got a Shadow Chem style on him, which is ideal. Now that Belgian left back would have been pretty decent, actually. Um, what have we got here? Who do we have? We have a Bundesliga player. We have no Bundesliga here. We do get a... a yeah, I mean, this uh, this guy here. He doesn't actually help us. La Guardia, Wallace, Brazilian, Portuguese, and French. I mean, we do have French. So we could take this dude here and then swap these bros around. And boom. We still get just the one, uh, just the one link in there to Kante. But... One link better than no links. And I thought we actually started off... Ooh, Thomas Muller. I thought we started off pretty decent. Uh, Sissoko would be good. Some people people sleep on Sissoko, man. He's one of those players that, for me, is just amazing. Now, although we started pretty strong, like, again, I don't know what to do here, guys, because this is... Uh, I'm going to take Cavanda because he gets that little soft link with uh, him. Um... Like, look at what we've got. Like, Sanchez, amazing. Okocha is good. Kante is good. Company is all right. But we've got three non-rares, Morata, Sissoko, Kavat. Like, our, our team isn't... It's not ideal right now. It's not ideal. Joe Hart. Ah, oh, see, I wouldn't have preferred the blue, Shemichael. <clears throat> um, we're going to have to go with... No, I can't even go with Joe Hart. We're going to have to go with Casper uh, Schmeichel. Get that one soft link in there. So, 78 chemistry to start with. We have got a long way to go. People, I see some comments that say, don't do the reserves first. I've done the reserves first for I can't remember how long, and I don't necessarily know why. Uh, so for a change, we'll start with the uh, the subs first. Ooh, Petr Cech. Yes, please. Let's get him in the net. We'll take Petr Cech. It looks like we're going BPL for sure. we just got to make sure we can actually get the solid players. I mean... We could take Matthew Debushi. Um, not ideal, but with a Hunter card would be pretty good. He obviously gets the good chem, gives the good chem. 
uh, just company that we need to uh, improve. Do we get another BPL defender? We do not. Um, do we have a Spanish? We have Belgian, French, German, and French. None of these work. So it's going to be who's got the best chem style. And we'll go Mario Gaspar with the shadow chem style so we can give that to Debushi. Because uh, that would be pretty helpful for him. Schneidlin's not a bad pick. Uh, French as well goes in there. And then we swap those two around and boom. We go up to 87 chemistry. So we literally just need a left back and a left centre back. But we don't have any more defensive picks. Um, ooh, Ningo. Oh. Now Kabai would be good because you could get him at centre back at 7 chem. Or Schneiderlin. But that name Golan card as a sub would be... Brilliant. I'm going to go with what works. Let's go and put uh, Johan Kabai in there. He sends us up to 95 chemistry. We now just need a left back or a left mid. And in fact, Nolito will be the dude because now we can throw Nolito there and then swap these two around and boom, we're up to 99 chemistry. Now this team, it's a full BPL team, sure. Is it good? Check. Yes. Debushi with Shadow. Yes. Company. Yes. Kabai or Schneiderlin, who would I put at centre-back? I'd probably put Schneiderlin at centre-back just because he's got way better defending and physical, better work rate, 6 foot 1. Okay, he doesn't have the pace necessarily, but yeah. If we can get a shadow on uh, Schneiderlin, yes. Rodriguez at left-back, no. Nolito at left-mid, no. Kabai and uh, Kante in midfield, yes. Okotra at centre-forward, yes. Sissoko at right-mid, yes. And uh, Sanchez at striker, yes. So all we really need is a better left back and a better left mid. And then I would be content. And we get, oh my God. Not only do we get Monreal or Azpilicueta, both of which would be fantastic. We also get thrown up in form Gareth Bale, who would be a great sub, and Jordi Alba. It's such a shame. Wait, we could get... All right, I'm going to take Jordi Alba, and the reason why I'm going to take Jordi Alba because Jordi Alba on 8 chem, which is what we can get him to, it will be head and shoulders better than Monreal or Azpilicueta on 7 chem. Uh, sorry, on 10 chem. As you can see there, he's on 7 already. We get the manager link for him, boom, he goes up to 8 chemistry. Morgan Snidlin still gets 6, 7 with the manager. We can swap that around, it doesn't actually, that, uh, that wait, why does that ruin things? Because of company doesn't have enough links, that makes sense. So yeah, um, that that's where we're at right now. Let's go for our next player. Come on, now I want some big subs or a big BPL left mid. We get Danny Rose. Again, I would prefer Jordi Alba to Danny Rose. So let's take a, a chem style. Anchor chem style, actually, we will take for Jordi Alba. He's got Sentinel right now, but I'd prefer to put Anchor on him. We get Alexandro in there. Neymarzito. Yeah, wait. Are you, are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? I think you're thinking what I'm thinking. We go down to 97 like this. We would need... We would need to do something along the lines of this, and then this, and then this. That puts us to 95. That's not what I was looking for. I want to figure out a way for us to get um, Neymar in the team. I mean, that's that, that in itself isn't bad. Neymar on 6 and Sanchez on 7 in my opinion, is better than Sanchez on 10 and Nolito on 10. So we'll see what we get for the last few picks here. The last three picks will be uh, very decisive in how we go. Ooh, Felipe Luis. I mean, we already have Jordi Alba, so it actually doesn't make any difference because Neymar gets a strong link from the pair of them. But uh, I'm tempted to take him for a sub. He's got an anchor chem style as well, so we'll go with that. We'll take this pick now. We'll figure out our chem styles um, in just a second as well. Come on. If I just get a BPL, a sick BPL player, I'll be very, very happy. But it doesn't look like it's happening. Right, Hawk is okay there. <sighs> Catalyst for a Kocha. Pace and passing. No, I don't want that. I want Anchor for... So we've got Shadow, Basic. So I want Anchor for him. I want Shadow for uh, Debushi. I want Anchor for Kante. I kind of want Hunter for Sissoko. Do we even have a Hunter? 
We do not. We've got a lot of anchors though. I want anchor for Kabai. Actually, would I want shadow for Kabai? Yeah, let's give shadow for Kabai. I want anchor for Jordi Alba. I don't have a glove, so I can't give check. So wall for check is fine. So we'll have anchor, anchor, shadow, shadow. Anchor and shadow is fine. Hawk is fine. It's the left mid I don't have a good chem style for. Um... I might give a shadow to uh, Sissoko just to give him that pace boost. I want I want that pace on him. Um, finisher, I prefer finisher on uh, JJ Okocha other than Catalyst. Architect, Architect, Basic, Anchor, Hawk. I'd prefer Hawk, I think, actually, here. And then we'll put... Um, no, I'll tell you what, let's put finisher in here. And then let's put Hawk on left mid so uh, Nolito can have the Hawk chem style. And now we'll take uh, we'll take our final pick. Not much. Striker Ronaldo maybe could change some stuff here. Not much can change some stuff here. Uh, Branislav Ivanovic not that interested. We do get a Hunter card. Now this is going to make the team look weird when I build this team back together, right? Um, but it's, it's, it will make sense when it's all all done and dusted. So we get him in there. Uh, we get Schneiderlin in there. JJ Okocha goes in there. We get um, Johan Kabai, who wasn't that side midfielder, was he? We also get Nolito here. We get Debushi down at right back. We get Kante in here. That is the whole team except for Sissoko, who is going to go here. And that's that's basically where we're at. Um, so I need to leave Sissoko in that right hand side spot just so he gets the uh, gets the, the hunter chem style on him. We've got a solid team, man. Like it's not it's not like we don't have the Ronaldos, the Bales, the Messies. We didn't see a single blue card here today, which is quite disappointing. I was looking forward to pack, uh, picking up some more blues, but just doesn't seem to be the case. It's very possible. Let, now, what do I need here? I need a Spanish BPL manager would be legitimate. That, that's kind of like the first thing that we go for here. We don't get a BPL manager at all, so we'll take the Spanish manager just to give Jordi Alba that little extra chem boost, which means Schneidlin's going to suffer. Uh, but I don't really care too much about that. Schneidlin's still going to be on uh, six chemistry, which isn't, uh, isn't the worst. Um, and now we have the chem style of Hunter on Sissoko, which is what we wanted. We'll throw him in there. So we are at 100 chemistry. We've got the perfect chem styles for the players. The players themselves are decent, not unreal. Like when you look at this team, you pick out the standout players. Sanchez, Alba, Akocha. The midfield, yes, Kante is great, but he's only 81 rated. When you look at the bench, you've got Neymar, Barzagli, Felipe Luis. Uh, this is, like, honestly, guys, back-to-back -back drafts where it's just not fantastic drafts. Like, we just haven't been offered phenomenal players, which is a bit sad and a bit savage. But what are you going to do? You, you know, you can only go with what you're working with, and this is what we've been offered here today. So this is what we will uh, we will have to play with. I think it's going to play well. Um, let me just set the player instructions. Something, oh, wait, he's already stayed back while attacking. Stay forward. I don't want him to stay forward basic I don't want him to stay for he's basic already stay back while attacking balanced attack I don't want him to stay back while attacking uh, balanced attack I want him to uh, stay central and I want him to stay central there we go so that that is the team guys that is what we're gonna do with this let's get in to the gameplay okay guys as we get into the gameplay the first opponent we come up against got 88 chemistry 86 rated team Blue Lewandowski, Blue Diego Godin, Inform Robben, Frank Oiboi. His midfield and defence aren't the best. Of course, Jordi Alba's pretty good. Carver Howe on Shadow, very nice indeed. But in general, I'm not overly impressed with his team. And we end up picking up the first goal here with, uh, with our main man, Johan Kabai, who was on the penalties. And I tell you what, guys, this team was brilliant. One of the things that really, really impressed me with this team was how good JJ Okocha was. I never really took him seriously as a legend, and you've never seen him in foot champs, and the main reason why I think you never see him in foot champs is because he's not a, an, an elite player, and we'll talk about that in a second, but I never see him, and I never thought I'd use him because I thought he was the five-star skill gimmick man. Uh, you know, he's, he's little, he's quite weak, uh, like, I thought it was just all about his skill moves, and, and that, that was that. 
But when you use him, his positioning, his dribbling, his passing, his shooting, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And he ended up getting, I think he scored in every single game and got an assist in every single game. He was just phenomenal. Um, and in terms of elite players, something that uh, Atani says to me regularly uh, is basically, if you don't see a player in foot champs, they're not a good player. And something that Gorilla's saying, I've just been watching Gorilla's stream, he was saying that somebody said to him, why don't you get the Blue Griezmann? They played with him in draft and he was amazing. And, and Gorilla rightfully so said, like, you know, like every player's amazing in draft if you're good at FIFA. Like John Terry could be good in draft, but you're not going to see him in foot champs because it's just a different beast. Like foot champs is just absolutely amazing. But I would be interested to see if anyone out there, if any of you guys out there that play foot champs have... JJ Okocha in your team and how well does he do? The only thing I will say is for the value that you have to pay for him, um, for the fact that you have to pay like, I, I, I actually don't know how much he costs, uh, I guess I would say about 400k and in fact let's um, let's go and have a, a look, uh, Okocha, I would say about 400k, he's 475 so for 475 for JJ Okocha, you're basically able to afford informed De Bruyne, regular Paul Pogba, like you, like inform Roberto Firmino. Like there are way, way more options than Okocha. However, he obviously gives those links. But I was just massively impressed with him. We ended up getting a rage quit in game one. Was it a rage quit? Three two, I think the final score was. And into the second round we go, we get one eighty five opponent. He's got the eighty eight Alexis Sanchez, James Rodriguez, Kante, Koke, Wilshire. That defence is frightening. Inform Marcelo, inform Sergio Ramos, inform Aldo Reld, Carl Walker and David De Gea. And what you'll notice is they pretty much, other than the two centre-backs, have the correct chem styles on. I was looking at this team thinking this is going to be one hell of a game. But because of how good the team is that I've got, it just wasn't. And let me tell you, I've played a lot of games with Alexis, uh, sorry, with um, Alexander Lacazette, right? The blue uh, SBC version. And I find him to be just absolutely amazing. I've played a few games with the 88 Sanchez because he's got very similar stats to the Lacazette and I find him to be absolutely amazing. This is now the third draft we've had this 90 rated Sanchez in and the third draft that we've won whilst having this 90 rated Sanchez in because he is just a different class of amazing. I know some people have their reservations about too many informs or about team rating, about handicap, about scripting. I don't care what you think or what you think you thought or what you think you know you think. 90 rated Alexis Sanchez is without question the best striker in the game. Um, you'll, you'll hear me say a lot of times this year, this player is the best, that player is the best, this player is the best. And so far my run of the best has gone like this. Cristiano Ronaldo was just the best player in the game, no question about it. Then I started playing with player of the month, uh, Hazard. He is still, in my opinion, probably the second or third best player in the game, no question about it. I then start using that blue Neymar. That blue Neymar is a different class of absolutely unbelievable. So, for him, he was then the best player in the game for me. I've not used any of the striker Ronaldo's except outside of draft, like in, in draft, and I didn't notice too much of a difference between them and the, the, the left wing version. And then Alexis Sanchez 90 rated comes up and he just trumps all of them. All of them. He's better than Ronaldo, he's better than Neymar, he's better than Hazard, he's better than the SBC Lacazette. And I can't explain why. I know he plays a different position to three of those four players. Like right? I've got three left wings there um, and one striker and then, and then Alexis Sanchez. I know he plays like a, a far different kind of position and style, but he fits my style of play to the point where he's just amazing. And I'll tell you something as well, guys. This draft, it may not have looked much when we drafted it. And I might have even said this draft doesn't look great. I might have said it does look great. This draft played unreal. Morgan Schneiderlin at centre-back. If you are desperate for a centre-back, if you're in like foot champs and you've got your main centre-back sent off and you're like, oh God, I can't afford another like class centre-back, go get Morgan Schneiderlin, get him at a CDM, put him in that defence on 7 chem. He is a monster. Last year, I know there was the chem glitch last year, so it doesn't really pay that much relevance, but last year... I played with uh, Gonalons, the team of the season version that you could win through the tournament. I played him at centre-back for over 100 games because he was just amazing at centre-back. And Snydlin is no different. He's six foot two. He's uh, medium-high work rates. And in fact, I'm going to go to foothead 
and have a look at Snidlin on 7 chem, which is what we had him on here, and uh, what stats he gets when we give him a anchor. So he goes to 71 pace, which isn't the best, but it's not the worst. 85 defending and 86 physical. But one of the most important things that he has is he has 91 aggression and 90 stamina, 89 slide tackle and 88 stand tackle and 82 short passing. So he's got really good stats. And if you give him a shadow, he goes to 73 pace, 87 defending. I don't think a shadow is worth it. I think an anchor is much better. But um, yeah, Morgan Snyder on anchor is probably better at 7 chem than most of the players you're using. And this, this is where chemistry is like real important because you might be using like Mustafi or Williams or Sacco or Lovren. Not sure why you'd use Lovren, but you might be using Lovren as your weekend league centre back and they might constantly cause you issues. Go and look at Morgan Snyderlin and put him in the team because he'll do a great job for you. We end up going 4-1 up in this game, guys. Uh, my opponent does eventually get a second goal to make it 4-2. But as you can see by the slides, I was just I was having fun at that point. I was just being a dick, like sliding around, just trying to get some red cards. Always fun in draft to get red cards because you have no uh, you know re no repercussions for that. It's just they're, they're available for the next game straight away, which I love. Um, you know, no fitness woes or anything like that. And you can see by the match stats here, he had a fair few shots, my opponent there, most of them long range, but I dominated the possession, scored some great goals. And we go into the final, guys. We come up against an utter, utter super team. 185, but Legend Suka, Inform McTarian, Inform Coutinho, Inform Marcelo, Inform Louise, Inform Aldo Wereld, Inform Hugo Lloris. And then he's got Bellerin, Gundawan, James Milner, and Fernandinho. The only weak link, in my opinion, of that whole team is James Milner, and I've never even played with him. So I literally call him a weak link based off the fact of what I know of card stats and how they work and what I see on James Milner's card. And uh, once again, just like all the other games, like this was just an absolute whitewash. Uh, the, the, the duo up front, the Okocha and uh, Alexis Sanchez duo, just ran riot. Okocha picking up the first goal very early on. Didn't take us too long to get a second goal and pretty much cement our, our, our victory in this final. Alexis plays it to Okocha. Lovely little fake shot from Okocha. Plays it back through to Alexis. Gets him behind. That defender's just not catching him up. And who is that defender? Hector Bellerin. And he's not catching him. And then the low driven shot across the face of the goal. It's just so broken, so overpowered. I love scoring the goals. They look so clean and they work so well. And again, Okocha here, guys, into Kante. Kante waits for the run back. Steps inside. Plays him through. And, uh, well, plays him through. Cuts it back. And there is a culture to put that ball in the back of the net. Dabs on him to make it 3-0. And before the half was over, we managed to get the ball again here. Sissoko into, uh, I think that was Kabai. Kabai to a culture, a culture to Alexis. Fights off David Luiz. Gets in behind. Low driven shot again to make it 4-0. And at 4-0 at half time, my opponent then decided that he couldn't come back from that. And decided that that would be the end of the game. So I get myself a very comfortable draft win with this team. I loved playing with this team. I thought this team was amazing. I would recommend any of these play players to you guys in draft. They all felt really, really clean, really fresh. And uh, yeah, that's that. So that's the end of the gameplay, guys. Let's get into the packs. So guys, a fantastic draft win. Very, very comfortable game. I tell you what, JJ Okocha as a legend is unreal. I always thought that he was one of those gimmick legends because he has five-star skill moves. I looked at his fit, uh, sorry, his uh, physical, his defending, his height, his work rates, and I always used to just dismiss him. But he was instrumental in us winning that draft. Him and Sanchez combined were just unreal, man. Uh, I think he got, I can't even remember how many goals he scored, but he scored a whole bunch of goals, a load of assists. He was just... He was just brilliant. So we get a draft win on 19th one. I'm hoping for a coin reward or a big reward here. We've been screwed so many times. We get two. Oh, come on. Yay, please. You're absolutely dicking me here. We get a premium gold pack, guys, and two rare gold packs. It's 57,500 coins in value of packs. However, unfortunately, um, th these packs just aren't really worth a damn thing. I'm going to actually uh, store that. Uh, we get rid of oh, this, this. This this guy might sell for a little bit just because BPL marquee matchups right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much we're going for, but I'll list him up for 900 coins. But in general, this has again been a disappointing performance from EA with their rewards. For me personally, I drafted very nicely. I felt like I thought the team played great, and uh, we end up winning the draft. But oh, Eric Bailly, that's not bad uh, for an 82 rated player. That is not bad. I think he means that we actually get our money back from this draft. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, he's expiring for 16k. 
Is, there you go, he sold for like 14K. It looks like the market's screwed up as well. So uh, we'll list him up for 15K fresh. I'll send the rest of the items to the uh, to the club that will be relevant. I'll discard the ones that won't. Fortunately, that Eric Bailly has saved us. Um, not too bad, um, but uh, not too great either. It just means that we made our money back at least, maybe and some. No walkout here. Can we get a blue card? Not even a big flare. We're going to end up with... Strootman, not the Roma midfielder that we specifically want. Um, Danny Ings, another whole bunch of absolute crud. We'll discard that. We'll send the rest into the club and that will be that. So that, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.